why? Because I've been looking into lately, like what it takes to make plugins, and can you do can you do not a plugin in Swift or iOS, but you know that side. And I always come across, oh, you gotta use C plus plus because of I don't remember why now. But why is it that C plus plus is the preferred way of 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 programming with audio in? Uh, yeah, because it's it's fast. So right. a lot of other languages have, um, you know, more abstraction. So it takes it further away from kind of machine code. And it has more things to automatically look after memory and uh, things like that, that is very convenient for most programs. But when you want something to run really quickly, it being a kind of, um, you know, lower level language, uh, and closer to kind of assembly code and machine code, that actually makes it faster. And, um, you know, when you have a small buffer of samples that you need to get back out in time for the next one to arrive, speed is really, really important. So any audio visual stuff, uh, gaming stuff, you know, that's why those sorts of uh, applications tend to still use C++ because it's, it's significantly faster than, than other languages. It comes with its drawbacks that it's a little bit less easy to read that code and can be more fiddly, uh, definitely less beginner friendly um, compared to, say, Python or something like that. But mm. it um, it works really quickly. Right. That's interesting. Yeah. And so and, and then the Jews, is that is that just a big framework or what's that? You, you mentioned some stuff already, but what is it exactly? Yeah. So it's. Um, if you think about it like a, a collection of classes that will allow you to do uh, common things that you need to do um, uh, with audio and, and multimedia in general and graphics. So it encapsulates all of that. So, um, yeah, basically it will handle all of the uh, complex stuff that you have to do with in terms of wrapping for various different plugin formats. So VST, uh, AU, AAX, all of that sort of stuff. Uh, it will also uh, handle all of the platform specific stuff in terms of operating systems. So um, basically, um, there's uh, an application that you start building from called the, the producer. And that mm -hmm. basically uh, is where you put all of your settings in for all of these different formats and platforms. And it will allow you to build it for different operating systems and, and work with a certain IDE um, based on those operating systems. Right. That's cool. I mean, so when you say settings, I so that that's not plugin settings, so to speak. That's actually settings. So it's going to be used for this, let's say, Pro Tools, right? That's what you mean. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, yeah. you'll have uh, like settings in it to tell it where the software development kit for the AAX platform is, uh, right. various different VST settings, AU settings, stuff like that, as well as like your overall project settings and and it's, it, even as simple as like the name of the project because if you have a um, OSX project and a Windows project you, if they were uh, you would need two completely different projects for those things right. whereas the producer encapsulates it all together right. and allows you to create a version of the project for any you know common IDE on those platforms so it means that you can have this one project that's able to be used on on different operating systems and, and be able to export various different plugin formats and also uh, another uh, you know useful thing about juice is that it has a lot of graphics based stuff in it so um you know with a lot of programming languages all the graphics stuff you know if you had to code that all from scratch that would also take a lot of time so mm -hmm. again it's just a time saver um right. you know rather than having to deal with the deep infrastructural stuff 